2008 SFU Open, we start things off with who else but Ruki Abdullah, the newly Canadian citizen, takes off and wins the long jump. Rochelle Barnett under the weather, but she comes to play and will finish second in the high jump, the freshman with a great leap. We are just flying through this recap just like the 4x100 meter relay team as Brianna Kane hands off to Cassie, keeping in the double K connection, connect for the victory, sticking with the K theme, and Kristen Kolstad wins the 1500 meters. Now in the 100 meters, and Jane Chanel, no number five, she's number one, winning handily. Now a trip down memory lane as Meredith McGregor, clan alumni, wins the 3,000 meters. And Q two more alums as Rebecca Johnstone and Julia Howard battle it out in the 800. In the final straightaway, Howard pulls away from Johnstone, but the clan alumni finish 1-2. Abdullah, known for her prowess in the long and high jumps, this time shows her speed as she wins the 200 meters. And in our final event, the 400 meter hurdles, Tracy Boss manages a huge lead, but as we all know, the key to taking care of business is overcoming life's hurdles. Boss picks herself up and takes charge to hold on for the win to cap off a successful day for the clan women. Well, I actually felt really good up until about the seventh hurdle. I had Haley, who's also on the SFU team, right outside of me, so I just tried to go out with her. Um, once I hit about the eighth hurdle, legs started to get heavy. And I could feel when I hit the 10th one that I was going to go down with it. But yeah, I just got up, kept going, tried to finish the race. And time wasn't what I was looking for, but I guess that's all you can really ask for. Now on the men's side and Brett Wakefield taking off in the 3,000 meters, he and teammate Trevor Feeney would push each other to finish fourth and fifth in the event. Now the face of intensity, Dylan Gant, the senior, competing for his final time on Burnaby Mountain. Gant right in the thick of things in the 1,500 meters and it comes down to a final sprint as Gant just gets edged at the line to finish third. Bruce Springsteen was in town this week, but this boss goes by the first name of Andrew, and he shows total domination in the 400 meters, winning handily over the competition. And we've been waiting for it all recap long. It's not Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. No, it's the Mitch Cully Express, and he finishes second in the 800 meters. In the 200 meters, Adam Newton defies gravity and wins by two lengths. And now the final event of the day, SFU UBC showdown in the 4x800 meters. But this time it's UBC who prevails. Overall, though, a successful day for the clan men. 4x8 team obviously wants to hit standard. Um, we didn't even come close today, but I think we will at the dual meet probably. And when everyone's a little bit sharper and maybe we'll have to rest some guys and not have them run open races to make ensure that we get it. And hopefully I won't be on that team at that point because I'm just not very good at 800. Uh, I guess as a, for the guys team, that would be our main goal is like get that 4 by 8 team to Nationals and get them and be All-American again. And as a whole, the team is probably just looking for them out Sac in Oregon where we can go run real fast in some hopefully better weather and get some, some really, really good competition in.